This is Mr. Martin. These are video notes for Pre-Calc Advanced. We're in Unit 7. Uh, this is uh, corresponding to Section 7.4 in your book. We're talking about sum and difference formulas in uh, this video and the next couple. So uh, sum and difference formulas, you'll notice here we have six different formulas. Um, and these are, they're basically identities and uh, there are identities that are going to help us uh, most of the time uh, solve some numerical type problems as opposed to verifying identities although we will use them uh, to verify or establish identities as well so let's uh, quickly go through these uh, formulas we're not really going to talk about the derivation of these um, so basically i'm just going to give them to you and you're going to uh, need to learn how to use them so just some some more tools for you to learn how to use. So um, for 1 and 2, we've got some of different formulas for the cosine function. We can see that the cosine of alpha plus beta, so we're the t taking the cosine of the sum of two different angles. And uh, the way this works out is that it's the cosine of alpha times the cosine of beta minus the sine of alpha times the sine of beta. So notice for cosine, when we do the sum of two angles, it works its way out into the formula as being uh, subtraction in the formula. Okay, and we need these formulas because there's no way to distribute this cosine over this alpha and beta. It's not the same as cosine alpha plus cosine beta. So cosine alpha plus beta does not, does not, let's make that red does not equal cosine alpha plus cosine beta. Okay, since these two are not equal to each other, we need these formulas to help us solve these uh, without a calculator. Okay, so moving on, we've got cosine alpha minus beta. So same formula, except now instead of a minus, we have a plus. All right, and notice the cosines are together and the sines are together for the cosine uh, sum and difference formulas. Uh, so there's some patterns here. And then the sum and difference formulas for sine, we've got sine alpha plus beta is sine alpha cosine beta plus cosine alpha sine beta. Okay, so each part has a sine and a cosine of each angle. And then uh, the difference formula here, same thing, except we've got a subtraction here in the middle. So for sines, the sum formula does correspond to a plus, uh, and uh, the difference formula does uh, correspond to a subtraction. And then we've got our sum and difference formulas for tangent, which are a little bit more complicated. So tangent of alpha plus beta is tan alpha plus tan beta divided by 1 minus the product of tan alpha tan beta. So notice the uh, plus, the sum here corresponds to a sum in the numerator. And over here we've got tan alpha minus beta. And again, um, the subtraction here, the difference here corresponds to a uh, difference in the numerator. And then it's uh, opposite operation in the bottom, the inverse operation. So plus and then tan alpha times tan beta. So we have addition or subtraction in the numerator and then 1 minus or 1 plus, and then a product in the denominator. So make sure you're doing enough practice so that um, you know what these formulas are and you don't make mistakes with just writing down the formulas. So just to reiterate, why do we need the sum and difference formulas? We need these because the cosine of alpha plus beta does not equal the cosine of alpha plus the cosine of beta, as well as um, we could put a plus or minus here, also plus or minus, plus or minus. So um, this is true for the cosine, but it's also true for all the other um, sum and different formulas as well. And also the formulas give us a way to calculate exact values. Okay, so we can plug these into calculators. We're going to get estimates. Anytime you get a decimal answer that uh, does not end, it's going to be an estimate. 
Uh, and although our answers may not be as meaningful as a decimal answer, they will be exact. All right, so let's take a look at uh, sum and difference formula for cofunctions. We've looked at these a little bit when we were working on our fundamental identities. So um, we had before our uh, cofunctions that cosine of pi over 2 minus theta was equal to sine of theta, and sine of pi over 2 minus theta is cosine theta. So we're going to use our uh, difference formulas to prove these. We're going to establish the sum and difference identities. So for 3a, I've got cosine pi over 2 minus theta. And if I use my difference formula for cosine to uh, expand this, it would be the cosine of pi over 2 times the cosine of theta plus, because remember for cosine, if it's subtraction here, it's addition when we expand it. And then sine of pi over 2 sine of theta. Now, the cosine of pi over 2 and the sine of theta, we know what those are. We're going back to our unit circle, so make sure you uh, review this, because you're going to need it for this uh, section as well. Pi over 2 is up at the top. We've got 0, 1, the cosine is the x value, so cosine of pi over 2 is 0, times cosine of theta, plus sine of pi over 2, sine is the y value up here, so that's 1 times sine theta. 0 times cosine theta cancels out, and we're left with sine theta, and we were trying to verify that it equaled sine theta, which it does, in fact, so we have established that uh, difference identity. So let's take a look at 3b. We've got the sine of pi over 2 minus theta. And if we expand that using our uh, sine difference formula, we're going to have sine pi over 2 cosine theta minus cosine pi over 2 sine theta. And the more you use these formulas, the better you'll uh, get with using them. Um, so just make sure you're doing a lot of practice and ask questions when you need to. So sine of pi over 2, again, we're up at the top of the circle, so that's 1 times cosine theta, and then minus cosine pi over 2, the x-coordinate at pi over 2 is 0, times sine theta, so these, this cancels out because it's 0 times sine theta. Here I have 1 times cosine theta, and I get cosine theta equals cosine theta which is what I wanted to show that it was equal to up there. All right, so um, moving on to the next example. Um, for this example, this is really how we're going to be using the sum and difference formulas to calculate uh, the sines, cosines, and tangents of angles that aren't our special angles. When I talk about special angles, I'm talking about uh, pi over 6s, pi over 4s, pi over 3s, or multiples of those. So what I need to do is I need to figure out how I can write 105 degrees as a, a sum or a difference of special angles. So 105, I know that that's going to be 45 degrees plus 60 degrees. And uh, normally I like to work in radians, so that would be pi over 4 plus pi over 3. So pi over 4 plus pi over 3 is the same as 105, so the cosine of 105 can be written as the cosine of pi over 4 plus pi over 3. And now that I have the cosine of a sum of two angles, I can use my uh, sum formula for cosine. So it's going to be cosine pi over 4, cosine pi over 3, minus sine pi over 4, sine pi over 3. And all of these values here, I know what those are. So uh, just for reference here, I've got pi over 6 is root 3 over 2 and 1 half. Pi over 4 is root 2 over 2 and root 2 over 2. And pi over 3 is 1 half and root 3 over 2. So now we're looking at the sines and the cosines of these. So cosine of pi over 4, that's my x-coordinate. That's root 2 over 2. 
times cosine of pi over 3. Here's pi over 3. My cosine is a half. Minus sine pi over 4. Y coordinate at pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. And sine of pi over 3 is my y coordinate at pi over 3. That's root 3 over 2. And then I'm multiplying, so I just multiply straight across. So root 2 times 1 is root 2. 2 times 2 is 4 minus root 2 times root 3 is root 6. And 2 times 2 is 4. And then as a last step, we would just combine these to root 2 plus root 6 over 4. They already have a common denominator, so I can just combine. That should be minus. Combine the numerators. Okay, so this would be an exact answer to what is the cosine of 105 degrees. Again, it's not a really useful because we don't know how much that value is. Um, we do know it's going to be a negative value. The cos 105 is in the second quadrant and the cosine is negative in the second quadrant. Um, but it is an exact value of the cosine of 105 and we didn't have to use a calculator. All right, so I'm going to end the video here. Uh, so continue on to the next video to do the next uh, few examples and uh, make sure if you have questions that you're asking uh, and uh, we'll see you next time.